some old men from our community had a boat, this thing here, called Tribal Warrior. We did the first Indigenous circumnavigation of Australian history in 2001 on it, and it helped set the platform for what we do. This is the world famous scene, the Opera House and the bridge that many locals and tourists know and love. What many don't know though, is that this place is sacred to Aboriginal people and these waters have been sustaining life for them for thousands of years. I've come to Black Wattle Bay in the shadow of the Anzac Bridge to learn more about the harbour's indigenous history. Hi. Hey, hello. Jeremy, how, are you, how are you man? Just watch your step. Shane Phillips grew up on the block in Redfern, but these days he spends a lot of his time down on the water. Beautiful boat. She's an old girl, 125. He runs an Aboriginal-owned social enterprise called Tribal Warrior. And what we'll get to do, we'll do a second cap, we're going to paint this deck as well. It provides maritime training for young offenders and parents wanting a fresh start. What happens to the graduates? We've got lots of graduates who work out on Sydney Harbour. Uh, lots of graduates work on different parts of the world. Tribal Warrior also runs cultural tours of the harbour for visitors. I'm a saltwater man myself, so we've got to make sure this is looked after. Because it's looked after us for thousands of years, and our job is to make sure that uh, it continues to be looked after. Now we believe that we've got a responsibility to share the right stories to make sure that they're told and that people appreciate this place, but they appreciate our people as well. So you take tourists out, yep. what do you tell them that they don't know? What surprises people the most? If you look at the Opera House, just the, the Opera House resembles these shell looking things and it's, it used to be an island. <laughs> this island was bridged by this mass midden. There was shells, shell remnants, bones, but lots of things, but it was a ceremonial place. They took all of the shells out of there, out of that middle spot, used them, burnt them and used them for mortar in the buildings across the rocks. And if you look at the old sandstone buildings, that mortar in... In, in between the, the bricks? In between the bricks. All those crushed up. Lots of them come from this spot here where the opera house is. Traces of that time survive in the language we use every day. Most people all around the world know at least five words of the Sydney dialect. Oh, right. Kangaroo, boomerang, woomera, wallaby. Are they Sydney words? Sydney though? dialect. A continuous line from the past to the present. Now the Aboriginal flag at the top of the uh, bridge. Yeah, that's a pretty proud thing. What does that mean to you when you see it? That means we're part of this all, you know? There's lots of things that happen, but symbolically, uh, to fly the flag up there means a lot to our people. It means, makes people feel proud that they're, they're part of everything.